Hey guys, Hetty here, and um, today I thought I'd try out Jazz's Arty Games app. I've been, I've had this app on my phone for a while now, so I've been trying to actually <laughs> plan a video to do it, and I thought, why not for this week? So let's go. I have already put in most of my markers and stuff like that in this, which is one thing I do find is because it only really has Copic markers or Pro markers. Because I have a variety of different brands, I've kind of had to pick colours on this that match, even though they have different names. But for today, anyway, I thought I'd try the character challenge. I've been really lacking in character design and I want to try and push out my skills a little and see if I can manage one of the random ones that would come up on here. So. I'm not going to set a time limit for today, but maybe next time I will. Let's see what character design we get. Hmm. An orphan trying to hide their identity, punching old people. Okay. Uh, well, that's a bit mean. When I first started coming up with the sketch for this, I thought I'm just going to do a basic character design before thinking of major compositions or anything uh, just to kind of get the feel and try and come up with kind of a plan for the character herself and I'm not very good at drawing hoods so that was a challenge in itself and I've not really been drawing from well I had some reference pictures in front of me but nothing concrete like where there was one reference image that was like a really good help if you get what I mean. I've been... I really wanted to try and draw a character using reference lightly and not heavily influenced. Um, but yeah, seeing the way everything progressed on for the, from the sketches into the final piece, it actually is kind of... it's, it's nice looking at the development of it and I don't do that very often, so I think it's these challenges are going to be a good thing and I really want to carry on doing them. I've actually wrote down a few of the character prompts from the app. I just kept refreshing it and writing them down on post-it notes and I've got them all folded up so I can't see them and I think I might just pick one out at random every now and again and just draw one. So. Yeah, if you want to see me do more of these character challenges, don't forget to hit that like button. But anyway, I was originally going to do... Uh, I did the character sketches in my sketchbook and then do the Im the final image sketch just on a piece of scrap paper. Uh, this is just literally printer paper that I've cut in half. Um, but then I decided I wasn't going to bother transferring it over to another piece because I knew I wanted to try and use my Sharpies for this image. I mean, I've been a bit out of practice with them and I just I don't use them enough to warrant the amount of them that I have. So I thought, you know what, this would probably look pretty cool in that. And I wanted to go for more the comic book sort of style just because it's been a while since I've drawn like that. So I wanted to do like the heavy lines and stuff like that just to match the pose. And I'm sort of happy with how the old person's face turned out but I think if I'd have got more of them in the image it probably would have matched the theme well the design criteria a little better it's not bad you can still see it's there there is a girl punching an old person but I think next time if I was to do this piece again I'd probably want a more dynamic pose so it was like a more full image so you see all of her body and like loads of old people flying out wow this sounds really bad to say but loads of old people flying like she's just kicked them all away or punched them all out of the way sort of thing make it more dramatic but considering I don't normally do artwork like this it, I'm quite happy with how it turned out anyway because it's a, it was a challenge for me the composition was a challenge the even the line work because I was using the sharpie and I think I used my brush pen a bit. I honestly don't remember. But yeah, it's the whole thing was a bit of a challenge, which was the whole point of it. So I think doing these on a time challenge will be entertaining. 
but I definitely want to get a bit more practice done first. Um, but yeah, if any of you are ever stuck with, well, I say art block. There's, I suppose that's a very uh, touchy term nowadays, isn't it? But if any of you are struggling to come up with something to draw, because I was getting to a point where I just didn't know what I wanted to draw anymore. I knew I wanted to do something and I just couldn't think of what, so that's why I did this and used the app. I mean, you don't have to use Jazz's app, you could just even put like on your Facebook page or something, you know, someone give me a character idea to do, or just set like a little poll up and something like that, but or write loads of random words down, put them together and just pick three out and come up with a character based around those, you know, that would be good too. But it's definitely a good way to push yourself to get back into drawing, to try and match something. And if you can't control what it is you're actually drawing, then you kind of don't stick to your normal limits and it does push your art further, I think. I mean, it gets you to try something new that you wouldn't do before. I mean, if you draw, normally draw females and you're, say if you're using the app, the criteria says to draw a male, that's already out of your comfort zone. So it forces you out of that, which is really good for developing your art and moving forward with it. Um, I know quite a few of the ones that are folded up have male characters, which I'm looking forward to, but not looking forward to those. But we'll just have to wait and see how they go. But um, yeah, I was using a fine point Sharpie to do most of the line work for this one. And then I went in at the end with a thicker, just a standard bullet tip sharpie i guess it is a bullet tip but just to define the line work um i wanted quite a simple color palette because she was supposed to be an orphan so i wanted it to be quite dingy like so i went with a gray for her hoodie um and i wanted the guy's face to sort of pop a little bit more just so there was that contrast between the two so i wanted to make sure she had the dark hair um, but yeah, and I thought, you know what, I'll just do the comic pow going across it just to give it more of that comic book feel and make it very typical comic-y sort of, I don't know, I just wanted to fill that space and I thought, you know, that's going to work really well and it, surprisingly it does, it does, there's, uh, it should have made it maybe a bit smaller or straighter, I don't know. It was literally an A5 scrap piece of paper that I was doing this on, so I'm not fussed. <laughs> It worked out a lot better than I thought it would and it was only supposed to be to get me into the mood of drawing again and challenge me for the character concept not to have a finished perfect piece of art which is not what you always need um, but yeah I think I guess I'll leave the voiceover there for now because I'm just rambling again and I don't know if anybody actually likes listening to me ramble all the time so thank you for watching um, if you want to see more of these Jazza app challenges i mean they do the three color challenge and that sort of stuff and the time challenges if you want to see me do any of those then please leave your suggestions down below which one you want to see first and if you want to see me do more of these character designs then again let me know down below but anyway i'll leave it at that for today so thank you for watching please like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video bye